Hey guys, so let's talk about a GPU buying guide for the month of June. Should you even buy a GPU? We just saw what appears to be a leak of Nvidia's next generation graphics cards. Looks pretty cool. Who knows what the specs will actually be? So let's get into it and let's talk about it. Hey guys, Tiago Classical Technology here. Thank you for joining me for another video. Remember to subscribe, smash that like button, leave a comment below. Are you looking forward to the next generation GPUs? All right, so every month we've been doing a buying guide on GPUs and the further we get into the year, the more that it just becomes just wait and see what's gonna be coming out from Nvidia. Now, we've been seeing some teaser images recently with a very sort of revolutionary looking GPU design. In fact, they're saying just the cooler for these GPUs may be upwards of $150 depending on what the GPU is. So that's definitely going to mean that we're not going to see very low prices at all. Of course, with every generation, the price seems to go up and up. But I think anybody thinking we're going to get more performance than the 20 series and a cheaper price, you're going to be disappointed. Of course, we're going to get better performance than the 20 series across the board, but I really don't think the prices are going to be going down all that much. Nvidia is definitely a very smart company and they know sort of how to play the different GPU ranges against each other. Even when they had that mining craze, they were able to bounce back after everything fell like pretty quickly when mining sort of went away. So I think they're a very smart company. And even if you look at certain GPUs that have been on the market for a long time now, even the 2080, 2080 Ti, aside from releasing the 2080 Super, even the 2080 Ti hasn't really changed that much in price. It's not like they go on a fire sale and all of a sudden you can get them for really, really low and cheap prices. So for a lot of people that are holding off and waiting for the 3000 series, not necessarily to get one of those, but in expectation that the 20 series, like the 2080, 2080 Ti, are going to drastically drop in price, I would think a little bit about that one if I were you. Of course, the prices are going to go down, but historically, even the high-end GPUs from the previous generation, they definitely retain a good bit of their value. Look at the 1080 Ti. It's still a fairly valuable and high-performing GPU, and the case is going to be the same for the 2070, 2080, 2060. All of these GPUs are still going to be pretty good for most people, and the price, while of course it's going to go down when the new 3000 series comes out, as it usually does, it's not going to be anywhere near the same price. I don't think you're going to see like prices in half or anything thing like that. A lot of things that I've seen in the past, they tend to go down by a hundred bucks or 200 bucks, maybe a small percentage of the GPU price, depending on what it is now. Let's say a $700 GPU may go down a little bit. Um, I've seen even the regular 2080 compared to the 2080 Super. It's not like it went down to like half price or less or anything like that. It's just maybe a couple hundred dollars less. So I think the same thing is going to happen. So I think in terms of pricing, probably the same thing's going to happen. Yes, we're going to get better performance with the 3000 series but no i don't think that the prices of current generation is going to drop drastically and the new generation there's a good chance it may be a little bit more expensive or at least the same price of the high-end gpus now or whatever the top price is now so here comes the question should you even buy a GPU? We're now in June. These are probably going to be coming out sometime this year, maybe in the fall, like late August or September, like they traditionally do. The real answer here, almost across the board, is if you can wait, definitely wait at least until these GPUs are announced and maybe they start hitting the market and then we can see what the actual price and the performance are going to be of these new GPUs then you can make a decision but now of course there are always people that definitely need a GPU right now who knows maybe you're staying home more or maybe your current GPU broke or something like that so if you have to buy a GPU let's say you don't have the luxury of waiting you absolutely need a GPU to have a functioning computer um, or maybe whatever you have now just isn't working at all, should you even consider buying a GPU or do you think it's better to just tough it out until the new ones come out? So I think if you really need a GPU, I mean, even though it's coming out this year, the 3000 series, it's still going to be months away. A lot of times it's hard to get the initial batch. They get, you know, pre-ordered and sold out pretty quickly. So we could be talking several months before you have yourself a GPU. So if you can do without that and wait, that's fine. But there are some people that you absolutely need it. So what should you do? Well, first, if you definitely need a GPU, I would try to find something that the price is fairly fair and that a lot of people may be looking for 
in the future just in case you want to resell it later and upgrade to the 3000 series most likely i would avoid trying to buy something like a really high-end gpu like a 2080 ti or something like that just because those because of the higher price and less people having the money to buy them there's a pretty good chance you're going to take a heavier loss on those depending whatever else comes out while if you buy something like a 2060 or a 2070 super most likely yes the price of course is going to go down but you won't take as big of a hit as you will with a much more expensive gpu and something like that should be more than enough to hold you over if you do want to upgrade in the future and it's also enough performance that if you decide to keep it for a few years a card like that just because there are new gpus doesn't mean it's outdated by any means so that's definitely a pretty good strategy if you absolutely need a gpu i would get something in the mid-range maybe a 2060 super 2070 super and of course that's considering if you're playing at you know 144 hertz refresh rate or you're doing a little bit more high-end gaming of course if you really need a gpu and you're just doing 1080p and you don't really need that much performance then of course you can look to the cheaper gpus like the 1660 super or even amd's 5700 or the 5600 xt something like that should be able to tie you over as well but here i think for most people if you need a gpu but you can wait. I would definitely stretch it out because we're getting really close to more announcements. We're getting different leaks and different teases coming out. Um, so who knows how the performance is actually going to be. It's definitely going to be an improvement. But if you can't wait, you really don't have a choice. You kind of have to get what's on the market now. But I don't think that's the end of the world. Like I said, NVIDIA is a very smart company. They control the market really in an intelligent way, meaning that whatever GPU you get now, it's not like it's going to be 25% of the price when the new stuff comes out. This stuff definitely holds its value fairly well the gpu is one of the most important components in the gaming pc it's everything that people get excited about so if you guys go back and watch last month's video on the gpu buying guide of course the big difference now is that we're getting closer and closer so my overall recommendation is definitely wait, wait until these GPUs are announced, wait to see what's going on. If, if you have a GPU where it's pretty playable right now, it's not the end of the world, I would hold off on upgrading until we get more information. And when that comes out and the prices start going down a bit for the 20 series, then you can make a pretty good decision. Maybe you can buy a last generation GPU for a little bit better price and you're okay with that performance. But aside from that, definitely only buy a GPU now if you need something and maybe your GPU is not working or one of these extreme cases or maybe whatever you have now just isn't playing any of your games of course it's better to enjoy your games with a gpu now than wait a few months without anything so that's definitely my recommendation pretty simple if you can wait like 99% of people um, wait to upgrade, wait until the new stuff is actually released. That's definitely going to be your best option. And if you're like almost in an emergency situation where you definitely need a GPU, uh, maybe you can't play any games on whatever you have now. Maybe your GPU is not working. Uh, maybe it's a really old GPU and it can't play any new games that you want to play then I think you can make a reasonable purchase getting something in the mid-range just to kind of tie you over and make sure I'd rather, I'd rather people be gaming and be doing things rather than waiting, not using their computers at all for who knows how many months. Maybe these things are only going to be available at the very end of the year and we're only in June. So you're talking months of not having a functioning computer or something that you're going to be able to enjoy. So you just have to see whatever category you're in. It's basically those two as far as I'm concerned. Either you can wait to upgrade, go ahead and do that, or you definitely need one now so then there's really no argument just try to get the best price on whatever gpu you get and in the future you can all sell it and trade up or something like that in case you really want to change it you shouldn't lose too much value as gpus tend to hold their value fairly well even previous generations as we've seen with the 10 series compared to the 20 series so that's pretty much my recommendation for now all right guys thank you very much for watching remember to smash that like button subscribe and i'll see you guys on the next video